Hey guys, so as you all heard, my speech didn't quite come out the way I intended it to earlier today. There were a couple of difficulties I was going through, like wasn't able to get a mic check and I wasn't really sure how my voice was going to sound bouncing off the speakers all the way down the football field. So I felt that I wanted you guys to hear my speech how I first intended it for y'all to hear it. So I'm going to redo my speech to make it up to you and to make it up to myself. We are incredibly thankful to be here considering the tribulations the world is facing today. Thank you to the great leaders in our community, our phenomenal staff, teachers, and graduation committee who made this unique ceremony possible. I want to thank God for his blessings and guidance in my life. I would also like to especially thank my parents for all their hard work over the last 18 years. I would be extremely lost without their love and support. In addition, Thanks to all the parents, family members, teachers, and mentors that helped us reach this huge milestone in our lives. To Dr. Moore, we were incredibly blessed to be your last graduating class at ACOC, and we are so thankful for all you did for our school. You made such an impact on many students, including myself, and your hard work and dedication to ACOC did not go unnoticed. This school will never be the same without their Daddy Falcon. To Dr. Bledsoe, we were very fortunate to have you serve as our interim principal to finish our senior year. You have genuine passion for ACOC students and community. Class of 2020, our story is so unique and special. We were born during a time when the song Hot in Here by Nelly topped the charts and Kelly Clarkson won the very first American Idol competition. Our parents were talking on their unbreakable Nokia cell phones. The first Ice Age was a blockbuster movie and President Carter won a Nobel Peace Prize. Fast forward 18 years. Nellie is the age of my parents, Kelly Clarkson has her own talk show, and President Carter is still serving his country as a humanitarian and a volunteer at the vibrant age of 95. So where did this time go? Have we taken the time to reflect on the years that have passed us by? Have we considered where we will be in another 18 years? So we stepped foot on the campus of Charles B. Acock as scared and timid freshmen. We quickly learned that teachers did not have to walk us to class, how packed first lunch was, and to avoid walking by the library during class change, unless you wanted to visit Ms. Corr in prime time. Perhaps we lacked a sense of identity, so we began to find our way by joining sports teams, clubs, band, and JRTC. We missed school because of hurricanes, floods, snow days, well, in most cases, snowflake days. I wish we could get those days back. We competed in sporting events and competitions. We participated in Spirit Week, attended homecoming, and went to junior prom. We learned too many TikTok dances, Snapchatted our friends, and struggled to come up with catchy Instagram captions. But most importantly, we showed persistent support for our community by raising more than a combined $14,000 for Kitty Askins Hospice Center and for Newburn High School after they, were, after they were devastated by Hurricane Florence. We also raised thousands of dollars for Operation Christmas Link over the past four years to help purchase Christmas presents for needy students right here at ACOC. By the way, we raise more money each year than any other class did at ACOC. Amidst everything that was going on, sports, clubs, spirit week, TikTok, and don't forget class, Suddenly, our senior year arrived, and just as quickly as senior year arrived, it was ripped away from us. As underclassmen, we watched with anticipation and envy as the seniors before us enjoyed their senior picnics, attended senior prom, and were involved with all of the end-of-year festivities, a time to enjoy themselves, reminisce on the good times, and experience their final days at ACOG. Instead, we were forced to spend our final semester quarantined at home and learning remotely as COVID-19 became a global pandemic. We lost our senior sports seasons and events that every high school senior should be able to experience. As I realized that returning to school was not an option, it dawned on me that we had walked the halls of Charles B. Acock High School together for the last time on March 13th. We had no idea. We had no forewarning and no preparation. If we didn't know already, we quickly learned that nothing in life is guaranteed, except for change. Just when we think we've got everything figured out, just when we're comfortable, everything can change. 
Is it a coincidence that we are a generation born into a world devastated by the tragic events of 9-11, and now we are graduating high school in a world devastated by sickness and social injustice? I don't think so. These are defining moments. We have a responsibility to be a light in the darkest of times, to serve as catalysts for change and equal opportunity. Class of 2020, I challenge us to be the light moving forward. So as I close, to quote The Office, Andy Bernard said, I wish there was a way to know you were in the good old days before you actually left them. We may have been so busy living in the moment that we didn't realize these have been the good old days. The past four years have been incredible, thanks to you, Class of 2020. I am honored to have served as your class president, and I cherish you for the wonderful memories that even face masks and social distancing can never take away. So as we embark on our journey into the real world, I ask that we hold on to friendships, forgive and forget, do great things, and to always remember to call Charles B. Acock home. Oh, stay golden, Falcons.